As we get closer to Gateway's first build, we need something that allows our users to carry on tasks and access certain things like menus and pages and so on. And I know, you saw the thumbnail, you read the title, and I'm not going to make this intro any longer. So in today's update, we'll start by talking about the progress with Gateway's OLM2 model, take a look at other things that we have been working on, and finally give a tease for our asset test build along with some progress of Gateway's home screen UI. This is going to be a bit of a shorter video than usual, but stick around because this is going to be a fun one. My name is Kion, welcome to the Gateway Game Project, and let's get started. A few weeks ago, Lewis made two posts talking about SpaceX's progress with the second OLM at Starbase. This included some screenshots of his model in the Blender viewport. And yes, those are the models that are going to be in the game. So let's start in mid-October because as I talked about this month, we haven't made much progress as Lewis has been taking a break from 3D. But anyways, Lewis has worked on adding more parts to the second OLM, like the newly delivered water-cooled parts, the second level parts, the corner parts, and other details. Fun fact, it now confirms by the delivery of these parts that there will still be 20 hold down clamps for this launch mount instead of 5 clamps that we previously thought. This also kind of makes sense as the hold down clamps are supposed to match the amount of outer engines on Super Heavy and also spreads the weight of the vehicle better. This is just my thoughts so if you have any suggestions let me know in the comments. Also, not to get into Starship Nerd rant right here, but there are some parts at the Sinchez site that might indicate some parts for the water-cooled flame diverter, but we'll just have to wait and see for now. After that, we updated our tower model with more details, such as more cladding panels that protect the tower from the plume of the engines during a super heavy catch, and some more panels at the top of the tower as you can see here. I believe these were recently added before Flight 5 to prevent, again, the tower from the plume of the super heavy coming down. Yeah, that's great. Great description, Kion. 10 out of 10. Deserves a like and subscribe and follow on Twitter. <laughs> Cut. And just to get this one out of the way, one day I was bored and I had nothing to do, so rather than spending the day looking at the Twitter homepage for like 24 hours straight, I decided to do something more, you know, intelligent. I decided to start modeling Gateway's OLM A model for Pad A. I'm still not sure if I'm going to be able to get most of it done in time for the asset test build, but look forward to seeing more progress on it soon. Keep in mind that this is not very hyper-realistic or very accurate, but it will work for the game. Also, I haven't really worked on materials yet, so these materials that you're seeing right now could very well change. I modeled this using a method that we discussed in previous videos called perspective modeling, so if you want to learn more about it, I talk a bit about that in those videos, which are linked in the video description, like always. Moving on, finally we have been working on the asset test build user interface, UI for short, but progress has been slower than we would have liked. The current UI features a main menu where you can access different pages. Let's explore them in a bit more detail. The first button, labeled Start Game, does exactly what you think it does. It starts the game. Next to it, there's a settings page to change video, audio, and visual settings. There's also a credits page so you can see who made certain assets. At the bottom, there is a development page which talks a bit about Gateway's development, shows change logs, and links to our development update playlist. Finally, here in the options section, at the bottom, there is the exit button, which will close the game. And finally, at the bottom right, there is this text displaying the current game version, which is being played, and the build's nickname, which in this case is called Asset Test Build. And speaking of Asset Test Build, let's talk about it. Before we go any further, if you don't know what it is, it's basically a small test version of the game with a basic UI and with all of the current models we have been making thus far. This is basically for testing the performance of the game on different machines to see how the game handles on certain hardware. If you want to learn more about it, I'll link our last update video, which talks about that in a bit more detail. Link in the video description and the card in top right here somewhere, so you can open that in a new tab and watch it after this video. At the start of October, we ran an application where people could fill out a form to get entered for the asset test build. The application is now closed as it was supposed to last until the start of November. Sorry if you weren't able to enter, but don't worry, just keep supporting us and stay tuned for future builds as we like to get our community to test and get excited for this game. For those that have applied, we will email those that have been chosen soon in the next few weeks. Up to 5 people will be chosen for access to this build. Now, what is next for Gateway? We've decided to prioritize the actual game functionality instead of the models to get updates faster and also to start putting all of this into something that actually resembles the game. Also, a cool announcement is that we're doing a Q&A video about Gateway in the next few weeks about anything related to Gateway, so make sure to ask your questions in our Twitter post linked below or on our community post on YouTube. I seriously cannot wait for this, it's gonna be so much fun. 
If you'd like to keep updated with Gateway's development, make sure to follow us on Twitter slash X. And I mean, thank you all so much for being subscribed to this YouTube channel. It kinda stresses me out because I have to do these every month, but at the end, I feel happy and I really enjoy doing these. If you enjoyed this video and want to watch more development updates, check out our playlist with all of the updates that we've done so far. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you all next time. Have a nice day.